this is Austin Roney, a third grade teacher at the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. Hi third grade, happy Friday and welcome to social studies class with me, Mr. Roney. I'm so excited it's the end of the week, I'm sure you are too, but before we get to our weekend it's time to finish our country project that we first talked about yesterday. I've gotten a lot of comments from you guys, and I know some of you are worried about how to do the project, um, but also how to submit a picture through the form on Google Classroom. We're going to go over both of those things today, so I want everyone to take a deep breath. And I want you to know that Basically what I'm looking for here is for you to try your best. I know what your best effort looks like and that's all I'm asking for. So let's talk a little bit about each of the parts of this project one more time to clear up any confusion you might have. And then after that, I'm gonna talk about one more situation um, where people protested against their government and the government used a different strategy than they did in Thailand to try to make people's concerns go away. Before I go back into the project, let's talk about one more example of what happens when people weren't happy with what their government was doing. And the country that I want to talk to about today is the United Kingdom. Um, some of you might have heard of England before, some of you might have heard of Great Britain, those places are basically just another name for the United Kingdom. So the United Kingdom is on a continent called Europe. And in Europe, they have a, an agreement between countries. And this agreement is called the European Union. And basically what the European Union is, is all of the countries get together and they give a little bit of money um, so they can share certain things. And a nice way to think about this, um, to make it simpler, is think about a picnic where everyone shows up and they're supposed to bring something to eat. So think about the people in that situation is, as countries in the European Union and think about the entire group of people as the European Union itself. So Great, or the United Kingdom was one of those countries that is supposed to bring, be bringing food to the picnic. And so everyone is supposed to bring the same amount of food, and then they put the food together, and they all share from what everybody brought. In the case of the United Kingdom, they felt like they were being unfairly treated. Maybe they felt like they were bringing more food than the rest of the countries were to the picnic. Or maybe they thought that other countries weren't sharing the food enough, um, or in a fair way. And in real life, they weren't really sharing food, but they were sharing money. So people in the United Kingdom were a little worried that they were getting unfairly treated and spending too much money on the European Union. And so they protested. A lot of politicians talked about wanting to leave the European Union and not be involved in this group anymore. And so Unlike in Thailand, where they were showing the symbols and the government made it illegal to show these symbols, the government in the United Kingdom decided to do a different thing. Because it's a democracy, they decided to put this issue up for a vote, where everyone in the country got a chance to vote on whether they wanted to be in the European Union or whether they wanted to leave. And this is a great example of direct democracy, where everyone in the country gets to vote on that issue themselves. And this is a really cool thing that the democracy did to try to solve this conflict. And so everyone voted, and the vote was actually very close when it came down to it. And it turns out 51%, or just a little bit more than half of people, decided that the European Union was kind of unfair and they didn't want to be a part of it anymore. And so this led to something called Brexit. Brexit is basically two words put together. It stands for British, which means people from the United Kingdom, and exit, or leave. So Brexit, turns out, was um, a decision for the United Kingdom to leave the European Union 
and basically not have to bring food to the picnic anymore. So this is a great example about how some forms of disagreement aren't always scary, they aren't always violent, and sometimes countries decide to put things up for a vote. Uh, and this is a lot of the times how democracies deal with when their people don't agree with them. They let everyone vote on the issue so everyone's opinion gets involved. So if you don't want to use the Thailand example about when people disagree with their government, you could write, in my country, if people disagree, I will let everyone vote on the issue, just like they did in the United Kingdom. Let's go over the different parts of our country project one more time. And it's okay if you can't see this picture exactly. I will say things out loud for you so you can understand them. So the first part is we just have to come up with a name for our country. And this can be any name that you want. Just pick a name and write it up here on top. The next thing is what kind of leadership does your country have? And again, basically you want to decide whether you want one person to be in charge, a few people to be in charge, or you want most people to be in charge. From there you can decide whether you have a monarchy, a dictatorship, an oligarchy, or a democracy. And please, again, I'm going to be on Zoom chat today if you want to go over what some of these things mean. So come in and we can go over your own project. Next is, draw a picture of your flag. Again, there are no right or wrong answers here. Just draw a cool symbol, pick colors that you like, and draw a flag. The next part is, tell me about some of the people in your country and what they do. What kind of food do they like to eat? What kind of music they like to listen to or play? And what kind of sports or games they like in your country? These can be just a couple of words. Don't have to be complete sentences. And here on the bottom, which is sort of what we talked about today with our British example, what happens when people disagree with the government in your country? And again, this can come from your own imagination, or you can refer back to some of the real world examples that we talked about, being the Thailand protests or the um, disagreement in the United Kingdom over the European Union and whether that was fair or unfair. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like to upload a picture onto Google Classroom. All right, guys, let me show you what it looks like to upload a picture to Google Classroom. Um, you can use your Chromebook, especially if it's a school Chromebook, and use the webcam to take a picture of your project. You can hold it right up to the camera. And then you're going to go to, once you save that picture, you're going to go to um, Google Classroom. You're going to find the assignment. And then here is your country project, which is the Google form where you'll submit the picture to me. Here's an example of what that picture might look like. Um, but you're going to click on add file here. And um, at least on my computer, there's not an option to just take a picture. Uh, so I have to select a file from my device. I click on it, I click open, and then I click upload. You'll see the bar go up, and then once you have uploaded it, click on the picture to make sure it's the right one. Yep, that's the sample picture I want to upload there. It's a Spider-Man character. And then once you see that picture there, just click submit. And after you click submit, it'll say your response has been recorded, and that's how you know that I can see the picture that you submitted. Um, if you have any problems, Zoom chat me, and I'll try to walk you through it um, about how it looks exactly on your Chromebook, because my computer is a little different. Awesome job this week. I can see that you guys are working really hard to keep your brains active and healthy during the time that we're not in school. So. At this point, work on your project, um, or if you already finished it, you're all set. 
and I will see you next week for an entire week of science where we're going to build things, we're going to have fun. Enjoy your weekend, and I will see you next week.